Hey everyone, it's Karen from Mayfly Life. Today I'm going to be showing you how I make these lovely, cute little dryer balls. These uh, are uh, meant to be placed in your dryer with your wet clothes. And what they do is they um, eliminate having to use uh, dryer sheets, uh, the commercially made dryer sheets. And what they do is as they, uh, you'll throw probably about four or five of these in, uh, into a small load of uh, wet clothes into your dryer. And you'll throw four or five of these in. Uh, and what they do is they'll tumble around with your clothes, which helps separate the clothes so that they're not sticking together. And it uh, brings airflow between all the, uh, all the clothes. And so it's faster drying. But also too, what these little guys do is that they absorb uh, a lot of the water uh, and moisture from uh, from your clothes uh, and what they'll do is they'll slowly release as your clothes start drying that it'll slowly release moisture into the uh, into your uh, drum your dryer and uh, what it'll do is it'll it'll uh, slowly slowly evaporate uh, which uh, will eliminate static static issues so uh, this is much more eco-friendly. These little guys will uh, last up to five years, uh, depending on uh, how often you use them and, uh, and so forth. And I'm going to show you how to make them. They're so easy to make and you don't have to. What I do is I use a, uh, a, uh, a yarn core and then I wrap these in felting, in uh, wool roving. And uh, then what I do is uh, I'll do the felting process, but I'll show you how to do all that so that you can do this yourself at home. And it's not as expensive if you're getting a completely from middle to end. I mean, uh, middle to the outside uh, of uh, pure wool. Uh, this has got a thick outer layer um, and a small inner core, which is just a normal yarn. So it's cheaper for you. So I'll show you how to do this. And I've been using these for uh, a bit and uh, they work really well. So. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my yarn. What we're gonna do is we're gonna develop uh, a ball. And what you're gonna do, like, like here, as you can see, uh, it's just simple yarn uh, that you're gonna roll into a ball. Now I've got this one already made up for you guys to see so that uh, you don't have to go through the whole process while I'm uh, while I'm making them. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna get yourself normal yarn like this. And you're gonna just put it around your fingers, two fingers, like so. And you're gonna roll it around your fingers and pull your fingers apart. So I'm just gonna unwind some of this. And what you're gonna do is you're just going to start winding the yarn around and around and you're gonna switch directions just like this and you're gonna continue going until you form at least a tennis size uh, tennis ball size uh, bit of um, of a ball so basically what you're gonna do is just continue to wrap twist, turn, wrap, twist, turn, you know, until you, like, this is basically for people who know how to, how to yarn, how to do uh, crocheting and knitting and so forth. I mean, they, they know how to, how to form a ball. Uh, so, uh, and it's like I said, you just keep doing this until you build up a big enough size of a ball, uh, like just, just under the size of a tennis ball. Okay. So after that, you're going to have something like this. So, and, and uh, it's, um, it's really, uh, it's a nice dense ball. So it's not, you're not, it's not all wool, but uh, the, uh, the exterior part portion is. So what I'm gonna do is, what you need to do is you need to go out and buy yourself some wool roving. And you can get it at Michael's or any uh, uh, yarn supply store usually. But I've gotten mine, because I don't use it that often, uh, I mainly use it for my, my uh, felt, felt soap. So uh, basically, it's going to be in rolls, you know, like this. And what you're going to do is you're just going to tear off a piece. 
and it's going to come out looking like this. So what you want to do is you want to pull it apart because you got to find the natural folds. And sometimes it's a little stubborn, but it'll it'll start pulling apart. Okay? But what you don't you don't want, you don't want to wrap it like like this. You don't want to wrap it like this. So what you need to do is you need to unfold it. Open it up. And you'll find you'll find where the folds are because it'll it'll come apart easily enough. And then what you're going to do is you want to pull this apart. So you're spreading the the wool fibers. And basically that's what you're doing is you're pulling apart so it's not so bunched up. And you, you need that you need to uh, to separate everything and, and thin it out a bit so that. For one, it's not bunched up and it's going to make the felting process a little bit more difficult. But so basically what you're doing is you're, you're pulling it apart, making sure that there's no heavy spots and you're going to come out with something like this. Okay. Or like this. So it's, it's thin sheets. So now what you're going to do is I'll put this aside and I'm going to take the smaller one and you're going to sit it on here. You're just going to put lay it on top and roll it until it meets to the other side like this. And you want it tight enough, but not super, super tight. Uh, but you don't want it super loose where when you're starting the felting process, it's not going to, it's not going to work. So, so you're going to do it this way. Then you're going to take another sheet of wool and you're going to roll it this way. And you just want to meet up to where you, you maybe want a little bit of an overlap. And then you're just going to tear. You're going to tear this away. And you're going to have it tightly, tightly woven around. And you're just going to continue building layers. And you're going to alternate directions. Okay, so here's, this is a third layer. So now what I want to do is I want to get like a, you know, like it's going to be layered and then you're going to layer it on top of each other. So I'm going to spread this one apart. And what you're going to do is you're going to, then you're going to switch directions. You're going to go this way and that way. Nice and nice and tight. Get another piece and you're going to alternate again this way and you'll pull, pull it over this way. So basically what you're doing is you're going, once it's, it's going this way, now you want to go this way. So you're going to continue alternating until you get a really big ball. Okay, so you can see that I've uh, really piled it on thick with all the uh, wool uh, and, and this is what you want to do. So next, I'm going to show you that uh, how uh, we're going to start felting, how we're going to start the felting process. Okay, so come along with me to the uh, to the sink. What we're going to do, as you can see here, I have got uh, a nylon stocking. This is a knee high. So basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the uh, the wool ball and I'm going to put it inside the wool stocking. And how you do that? You stick your hand in here until your hand is right at the bottom and then you're going to take your wool ball and you're going to surround it and just pull your nylon over until as you can see it forms a ball. So what you want to do is tie it off at the end so you don't want like you don't want to do a super tight knot but you just tie a small knot at the top here and then this is how we're going to start the felting process. Now, what the nylon does is it keeps everything together. So basically, uh, it doesn't fly apart. So what I'm going to do is I've got a sink full of warm water because you need warm water to get the, uh, the wool to start shrinking. So I'm going to dip it in until it's wet. And I take a little bit of dish soap. 
because you need to have that sort of like that slippery feel so that what you're going to do is you're going to you're basically going to wash it okay so basically and what you're going it's going to you got to be gentle at first you don't want to do be too aggressive because you don't want it falling apart so what you do is you squish it, squish it, squish it in all sorts of different directions. Rub it in your hands, massage it with your fingers, dunk it a bit in the water because you want that heat from the from the uh, from the water to start shrinking the fibers of that wool. And you're going to continue to do this. You're going to continue to squeeze and massage and squeeze, dunk massage and you're going to continue to do that oh probably for about 20 15 20 minutes because you need that fiber to shrink and what it's going to do is going to shrink right around that inner core so that uh, it'll be a nice tight fit and by massaging it too is where you're you're doing the um you're you're doing the felting but I can already start to feel that it's starting to dunk it again. And if you need more soap, a little bit of soap, just pour just a little teeny bit on the outside. And so, cause you need the slip in order to have that agitation in the, that's the felting action. That's how you get it to felt. So you're going to continue to do this dunk and periodically you'll rinse with cold because you're getting everything like I said you're getting everything to shrink and it, like I say if you need to add a little bit more soap do that because you need that slip so that your fingers can glide over it and your hands can glide over it uh, well and easily so and you're going to continue to squeeze and massage and you're going to do that for about 20 minutes and you'll start to see uh, afterwards, you're going to start to see that the fibers are starting to stick through the uh, the nylon. Then you know you're get you're getting there. That you're uh, that's how you can tell that the felting is is doing its magic. And then plus two, you're going to feel not as many loose fibers as you do like when you first start out. Now, normally, um, you know, a lot of people do uh, just plain colors like maybe a tan color or white or light gray or whatever. Me, I like bold colors. And uh, usually the colors don't don't uh, transfer over to the uh, to the clothes. So but if you're if you're not comfortable with doing that in a color, if the wool, you don't want it in a the color, then by all means, then stick to whiter or light gray uh, to be on the safe side if that's if that's what you want. So I'm going to continue to do this and then I'll show you the next step. Okay, so as you can see it's uh, it's really starting to become a much tighter ball and what I'm going to do is I'm going to rinse it off a bit and I'm going to show you how you can see how everything is starting to, like some of the fibers are starting to poke through the, uh, the nylon mesh. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go alternate with cold water and squish. Cold water and squish. Because what you're trying to do is you're trying to get all that soap out. And you're just going to continue. And now with warm water, and you're going to continue to rinse and squish. Rinse and squish until it pretty much runs clean. Uh, it shouldn't take too long. It should only take you about you know five minutes or so. See now it's almost almost to the point where it's no longer bubbles. You want to get as much of the soap as you can out. And there you go. Okay, 
So now that I've finished, I can actually undo this water. And what you're going to do is you're going to take a cloth or, or whatever and just, I use a dish cloth. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just get some of the water that's still in there out a bit so it's a little bit drier to handle. Okay? And now we can, we can uh, get it out of the uh, nylon and I'll show you that. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to undo the knot. Open up the nylon. You're going to see, see? And it's, it sticks to the sides. So what you what you want to do is slowly pull and work your way around. Okay. You're just gonna fluff it up a bit. So there you go. That's the finished felty. But what you need to do is you need to run this through your dryer. So it'll continue so that you can get it to shrink even further. So you're gonna run this through your dryer, maybe with uh, like a spare towel or whatever, so you're not here in the banging by these balls. But I would do, I'd make up a whole bunch and then throw them all in the dryer. But uh, to get the felting uh, process uh, going even further and having everything set, then you wanna throw this in a, in a high, high heat dryer for about 40 minutes. Uh, it's not gonna come out completely dry, but uh, you can uh, just pull it out and leave it to dry, uh, air dry the rest of the way um, uh, once you pull it out of the wash, out of the dryer, I should say. But like, isn't this cute? They're so easy to make and, and you wouldn't think that just this little thing will help prevent static and it'll also help dry your clothes a lot faster because like I say, it separates the clothes and, and it allows more hot air to circulate around the clothes so your, dry, your drying time is less and you're saving money on electricity bills. Isn't that great? Okay, one more thing that you can do with these dryer balls um, is if you want a fragrance, add a few drops around the ball itself of essential oil, any kind of essential oil you want, whether it's just one like lavender oil, or if you want to blend, I mean, that's fine. Uh, then you just add several different drops and it'll uh, release the fragrance within, uh, within your uh, clothes and it'll be really nice and smells great. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.